Governments around the world have been investing millions of dollars into robotics for accelerating military applications. Military robots and even military drones are being used to provide backup during heavy artillery fire, thus lowering the number of casualties during war. From tiny spy robots to pure death machines, here are 10 terrifying military robots in use in today's world. Number 10. PD-100 Black Hornet the PD-100 Black Hornet is a tiny unmanned air vehicle developed by FLIR Systems. The Black Hornet UAV allows armed troops to spy on potential threats. The small remotely controlled rotocraft helps to save the lives of frontline soldiers. FLIR Systems says it has developed more than 14,000 Black Hornet PRS systems to military and secure forces in 40 countries. The last known price per unit was 195,000 US dollars. Number 9. GuardBot. As one of the world's only truly amphibious military robots, GuardBot is capable of supporting a wide range of applications in security broadcasting for live video action streaming and missions. The GuardBot can accelerate and decelerate quickly and smoothly on land while amphibious movement is consistent. Focusing on the design and development of spherical amphibious robotic vehicle systems, one GuardBot has a price tag of $100,000. Number 8. Saphir. Saphir is a two-legged or bipedal humanoid robot designed to help researchers evaluate the applications of unmanned systems in damage control and inspections aboard naval vessels. Supporting the autonomy and unmanned systems focus area in the Navy's science and technology strategy. Known as Saphir, Short for Shortboard Autonomous Firefighting Robot, this robot can cost around 400,000 US dollars. Number 7, Mars. Short for Module Advanced Armed Robotic System. Mars is an unmanned robot developed specifically for use in the military, and it has already begun sparking debates on the ethicality of using robots as machines for killing and war. The Mars robot can be outfitted with satellite tracking systems, day and night cameras, a hostile fire detection system, and a multitude of weapons. Equipped with a 30 caliber machine gun and a quadruple 40 millimeter grenade launcher, the Mars will cost $300,000 for the base platform, with a variety of configurations available depending on mission parameters. Number 6. Gladiator. This robot unmanned vehicle will provide the armed forces with remote reconnaissance, surveillance, target acquisition, nuclear, biological, and chemical reconnaissance, obstacle breaching, and direct fire capability to neutralize threats and reduce risk to the warfighter. It is one of the scariest military robots out there. This tactical unmanned ground vehicle, or TUGV for short, will cost you anywhere around $26.4 million. Number 5. Big Dog Roughly the size of a small mule, Big Dog is a military-funded robot produced by the former Google-owned company Boston Dynamics, now owned by South Korean car company Hyundai Motors. It can carry up to 100 pounds and cross rough terrains that would be impossible for a robot on wheels, making it a useful pack mule for soldiers. Meanwhile, Spot, the newest robot dog from Boston Dynamics, is newer and a lot more agile. The robot dog can also be equipped with weapons such as submachine guns.
price tag around 75,000 US dollars. Number four, Dogu. This robot is equipped with eight micro video cameras that offer a 360 degree view of the of Number three, Petman. Protection enables test mannequin or Petman is a humanoid military robot designed to mimic the movement and behavior of a human soldier to test the next generation of military apparel and safety equipment. It can walk, run, crawl, and even sweat like a human. In the future, it could be developed autonomously for search and rescue operations within dangerous areas. Price tag, $26.3 million. Number 2. LS3. This leg squad support system is an automated quadrupedal robot funded by the US military that can be used as a robotic mule of sorts, capable of autonomously following its leader, understanding simple voice commands, and carrying over 400 pounds of payload it is one of the scariest military robots out there. An LS3 per unit will cost you $100,000. And number one on this list is Atlas, another robot developed by Boston Dynamics. Atlas is intended to aid emergency services in search and rescue operations, perform tasks such as shutting off valves, opening doors, and operating powered equipment in environments where humans could not survive. The military is interested in Atlas because this humanoid robot can go to places where humans can't and it can be used in rescue missions as well. Though the robot is still yet to be utilized by the military, and much of what we've seen from Atlas is mainly parkour, dancing, and backflips. But regardless, price tag $150,000. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck, and all you'd have to do? is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Some people say that flying first class is the best experience anybody can have, while others say it's definitely the most comforting experience you can have on an airplane 35,000 feet above the ground. And so when we think about robots in the sky, most often it's probably recalling some sci-fi anime manga or film. But actually, in fact, that notion of robots in the sky being related to anything sci-fi or paranormal or superhuman is kind of outdated. Because living in the year 2023 with supersonic boom jets that are able to fly from Vancouver to Sydney in less than 5 hours and giant airliners like the Airbus A380 which even has a shower on board a commercial airline for first class passengers, then the idea of humanoid robots on a commercial airplane shouldn't be so far off. In fact, huge aviation groups like the Airbus Group have teamed up with Robotics Laboratory to launch a new joint research program that aims to develop humanoid robots that will be used for aviation manufacturing. The project is called Colmanoid, which stands for Multi-Contact Collaborative Humanoids. By combining Japanese expertise in hardware and robotics along with advanced French knowledge of mathematics and algorithms, the joint venture encourages initial progress in fields such as robot design and haptics, 
as well as tactile perception and continuous KDAR. The team spoke and said building on these achievements would develop multi-contact locomotion, which enables humanoid robots to move using not just their feet, but also other body parts such as elbows, knees, and hands as a human would when crawling. A new breed of humanoid robots. While in South Korea, a company called Case have gone beyond the research of developing unmanned aircrafts to testing humanoid robots designed to operate a regular aircraft by sitting in the pilot's seat and using controls just like a human would. But all of this is just boring, to be honest. What if we could have humanoid human-like female robots with giant boobs be our flight attendants or have personal companion robots in first class. But if so, then you would probably want to exercise some caution around the private onboard shower on the Airbus A380. Otherwise, you could maybe find yourself being electrocuted on an airplane. Probably not the steamy electrical scenario you were hoping for. Because they're robots, right? 